All right, so here's the injection ports that we use. All we need to do is we need just to butter a little bit of epoxy on the outside of this, and then we stick that right over the crack, just making sure we don't fill the hole up. And we'll put that one about four inches from the bottom and then about every eight inches up the crack, and that's all you need to do. And then we'll just epoxy over the whole crack to seal it up. So you only need to put enough epoxy on the bottom of that port to stick it to the wall. It doesn't take very much at all. The real key is just making sure you don't get any in the middle, in the hole of it, or you, otherwise you won't be able to squirt any of the injection fluid through it. So that's really the, the main part of this. This takes a little bit of time, especially if you're by yourself. You know, it might take four or five minutes to put all these on. And you really, you know, like I said, you're going to start at the bottom few inches from the bottom and then you go about every six seven eight inches up the crack the narrower the crack the more hairline the crack the closer I like to get them together but on average we go about every eight inches on something like this